In this video in the flow series, we're going to go over how to populate information on a rich text field on an object on separate lines. The use case for this is that I had a customer who uses a very rudimentary document template tool and it doesn't allow for looping through a related object from the base object of that document. So I needed to take one of the related objects and populate the field on the base object. So for this particular video, I've created a custom object called claims and made it a child of account. So we're on an account and the claims object, I have a count number field on there and a Roman numeral count because the documentation might need a Roman numeral. So we're going to create a flow to list them all here, but list them on separate lines in the field that I created for this video called rich text claims. So we're going to open up setup, which I am already on, and go to flows. We'll click new flow in the upper right hand corner. And this will be a record triggered flow. And it will populate each time as I click freeform, because that is my preferred method, that a claim is created or updated. That way it runs every time there's a new one or if somebody edits one, it's just gonna run. Obviously running all the time, if you have a lot of automation, there's considerations, but for this particular video on the how-to, we're just going to go with anytime it's created or updated. And the actions and related records will be checked. So I'm going to click done. And the first thing that I want to do is to get a collection of records. So I'm going to get all claims. And the object, of course, will be claims. Now we're starting, as I click claim here, we're starting with that initial record triggered flow that a claim was created or edited. And we want the account on all of the claims that we get to be the same account from the record. So get me all of the claims that the account equals the account of our initial record that it started from. And since I know I'll have at least one when this runs, I don't have to worry about any null fields, so it can just save all fields. And I'm going to click Done. And I did make one error that I want to go back. I need all of the records, not just one record. There we go. Now we're going to next loop all of those claims and we'll call it loop the claims. And here we have our collection of multiple claim records. Click done, tie that together. And next we want to assign value. So I, I do want an assignment. However, I need to go back to the get all claims because I didn't put a sort order, but this is a Roman numeral item that I would want it sorted on the document. So I'm going to put it ascending and I'm going to put it by count number. I actually have a regular numerical count number and then I have a case formula field that says whatever the number is put this Roman numeral and that's how we get the Roman numerals. But I want it to be ascending by count number as it collects it so that when it lists it in order it will be in the right order. So I'm updating that get records and now I can do the assignment and I'm naming it something really creative in this video, assign values, just for fun. <laughs> so I want to create a new variable. So new resource and I want this variable to actually be of text type and I'm naming it variable count number. Data type is text because it's gonna be the Roman numerals. And the variable is going to equal the current item from the loop, which of course is now in order. And I want it to be the Roman numeral count that we have. But we need one more item to get it to always be on a separate line. So I actually need to do a new assignment and I'm going to create a new resource. And this resource is going to be formula and I'm just gonna call it line break formula. And it's going to also be text. And we're going to use BR in parentheses. So now I also want to do variable count number. And these will both be add actually. And I want to add line break formula. So here 
I've got the current item add the loop and then the line break formula so this one variable is going to have both parts added to it and then I'm going to click done and that will be as I draw the lines for each item in the collection and then back again and then after it's done I'm going to update the account and this of course will be the account as I choose the object where the ID equals that record account so we're updating that account tied to all the claims and the field is that rich text claims and the value will be our variable that we have updated with those two parts the part where it has the count and the part with the break now I do want to add one more item in here because this is what was needed on my document count and then it has just that Roman numeral so I can also add in static value right here now let's click Save and name it I'm going to name it and it starts from a claim so claim update account with list of claims click Save let's activate that okay moment of truth let's go to the front side I only have one claim on here so far and I'm going to add a new claim and I don't have any other fields on here the Roman numeral field is a formula so that doesn't even show up I'm gonna click Save and notice that that static count with the Roman numeral 1 and then the Roman numeral 2 has been added and we'll add another one and now each on separate lines so that is how to do a rich text field and two side notes here at the end one is I did start with this particular one from Stack Exchange. I do want to share that with everybody because this is what I was reading before I went and built the flow. And the other part is I had tried this with a long text field and sure enough had the BR in there, it didn't work. With a rich text field, it does work. And then when I just inserted that particular field on the document, it came out exactly like you see it here.